Esperanza School for the Lost. Full circle, eh, Claire? Ugh, more bad memories than good. Oye, Dani. Clara's upstairs. Gracias. What are you doing? It's my papa's. I borrowed it. Ya tu sabe. I'm done, Tania. No more secret meetings. No more protests. No more friends that just disappear. He's too strong. So you're gonna just march into the Capitolio and put daddy's gun to Castillo's head? No. I'm going to build an army. And then I'm going to put Castillo in the ground. Come with me. You don't think I can do it? I've seen this, Talia. I've dreamed it. My mama used to tell me, save the dreams for the rich, fair-skinned Yarens. Us? We don't get to dream. We survive. You're not going to free Yara by killing Castillo, rich girl. You have to convince Yara it wants to be free. For all of us. Clara. Clara. You wanna tell me why you dragged me back to my old orphanage? He's losing, Danny. Soon we march on the Capitolio. And now, Castillo wants to meet. You're joking, right? I want to know what you think. You've been face to face. I think Castillo's always two steps ahead. And he's not going to stop unless we put a bullet in his skull. <laughs> and then what? We kill his kid too? You had your chance. Why didn't you do it? Juan had solid intel there was a Castillo up in that hotel. He just had the wrong one. You let his kid live, and then Castillo let you walk away from a death sentence. But the thing is, Danny, you were right. If Yara is going to have a future, his people, our people, we need to coexist. And the point was never to kill Castillo. It was to free Yara. For all of us. You had already made up your mind, hadn't you? Yara needs a leader, Clara. Not a martyr. Viva Libertad, Danny. Que bola. The army is out in force. We want to hit the... Them ...with an ambush. Chase them back to the base with their tails between their legs. We could use your help, Danny. Thanks.
Carlito did some renovations. At Hola, Dani. Hi. <clears throat> There's these farmers in Sombreado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep that. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hitting convoys. Farmers here to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckle about it. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass no! shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in me. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Honron, I think I spotted the convoy. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finger. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. <laughs> We're set for an ambush at the pass. Knuckleballs, a go. I've been waiting for this. Time to show Honron what I can do. I've been waiting for my brother. RPG is locked and loaded.
¡Qué bola! Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Sí. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? <laughs> That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. You look like la moral. Entonces. De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, convoy! That's a good horse. Vamos. Run, run. You bumped? I'm bumped.
This is going to help un montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Sí. Con Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Que voila, Danny. Get out of here. Military is all over your ass. Carlito did some renovation. Hey, Danny. Listen. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy tourists, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. to the Grand Hotel Caballero. Oye, hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help. Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that.
dentists were always late. Not this one. I'm having flashbacks here. <laughs> Medic can't save you. What a beautiful set of teeth you have, Cusano. Now then, Elena, the dentist is dead. The moral is safe. That's fucking great news, honey. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. I'm going to torture the last guerrilla here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. Yeah. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Hand picked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. 
Sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. You're a real inspiration for us. Dime. Where is Danny? No hay nadie. 